It's Monday, June 3rd at about 1.52 in the afternoon, 26 degrees, partly sunny, partly cloudy and humid. I'm up on one of the remote roads north of our area, just searching it out for the first time. Going to walk along a, a road that might be a private lane, I'm not sure. When I looked at this place on Google Earth, it looked like a nice remote road with very few, if any, houses along it. And probably a couple kilometers or so long, I'm not sure exactly how long it is. So I thought it looked like a good opportunity to come here for a dog walk maybe and not be too disturbed. So far it's holding true. Sort of what you might expect for a small uh, rough road on the Canadian Shield, just cutting through mixed forests fairly young age, not a lot of birds right now because I'm here in midday, but uh, very scenic anyhow, nice to walk through here. The bugs aren't too bad, just had a few of those flies that like to fly right in front of your eyes or whatever they are. They can be a bit annoying even though they're not biting you. The raspberries are in nice bloom right now up here, all over the place. Mm -hmm. The road is descending in elevation here. I'm hoping we're going to come to some water soon for the dogs. It's pretty hot out. And Luna in particular is feeling the heat. I thought there'd be quite a few crossings of water on this road, but so far nothing major. Just a dirty little pool back there that I wouldn't want the dogs in. Okay, it's looking like that swamp that I just filmed is uh, crossing the road down here, I think. So hopefully we can get access to it with the dogs. Yeah, that swamp really never came right up to the road. It just sort of went through a thin culvert under the road as a very narrow little rivulet of iron oxide, which didn't look very uh, good. And uh, then you'd have to walk either side over a hundred feet or so to get to the marshes. I might do that on the way back if we don't find anything better up here, but I'm hoping we do. This road ends at a lake up here. I'm not exactly sure how much further it is. We've done 2.3 kilometers right now, and we'll go somewhat further. It hasn't been all that exciting. It's very pretty, but uh, really not much variation along the road. It's uh, all just up and down twists and turns and mixed forest on each side with occasional uh, swamp openings. No other viewscapes per se, but very pleasant, but just not tremendously diverse in habitat changes. Okay, it looks like I've come to a place where maybe the road changes into private property. I see there's a couple red cones here. 
and then this sign saying no trespassing protected by video surveillance so I guess I'll turn back and call it a day on this road we just managed to find a nice little pool for the dogs to go in and get wet so that was good right at the end of the hike here or the end of the hike going this way now we're going to head back head back to the car Okay, just coming back out to our road now at the end of the hike. That was a nice hike, but I probably won't come here again. It doesn't really go to any specific location that you can get to. Eventually near the lake, it turns into a private entry as we saw. You can't really go beyond that or you're trespassing, I guess. But a pleasant little stroll for something new. And you never know what you're gonna find unless you try, so. Always worth another look at these places.